it's about raising an awareness among young people with a learning disability and employers um, about a lot of jobs that are out there. So um, what we want is young people to start thinking about their futures, about careers at an earlier age. Um, and we also want employers to recognise that there's a whole untapped, talented pool of people who normally um, they wouldn't consider for their jobs. Well, I think today's been actually fantastic. It highlights the fact that there are um, uh, an awful lot of people within the county who deserve an, uh, an opportunity to get a job and I think all of us in the business community should go out of their way to try and help them. It's a, it's a, it's a, it is a challenge, we all know we're in a challenging market, but it doesn't take a, a lot and what we have to do is think outside the box. We have to be creative in the way that we can look to actually help these people. It doesn't mean you have them a full-time job at the end of it, but what we can do is give them confidence, give them the opportunity, give them the chance in life that we all, we all aspire to. Today um, we've um, invited some employers who have signed up for the 3030 challenge. What we want is 30 local employers, 30 young people and those employers will um, give the young people a day's of work awareness. So it's not work experience, it's about awareness of business. So um, a few hours learning about what they do and what business is about and what works about and things like that. And this is a campaign that is very close to my heart. This is all part of our Grow Gloucestershire campaign that we launched. Um, I think it was about two years ago, which was about what can we do to help boost um, the economy with the Gloucestershire, but specifically more what can we can do to help young people um, into work. And that's the real message for most of the businesses is that there is no risk here. This is something you can do at no cost, no risk and no inconvenience, and really light someone's light up at their life life. This programme can make such a difference. Yes. Uh, well, I'm here as leader of Stroud District Council because we feel it's extremely important to make sure that we are an inclusive society and give young people with learning disability a chance to further their, their employment. I'm Dane Vince at Forest Green Rovers and we've signed up to the 3030 Challenge because we want to get involved in the local community, help people where we can and engage with sports in all manner of dynamics across the social area. So my name's Scott Jones, I'm 15 and I'm world champion in seated shot but it's yeah, a bit weird to be world champion at 15 but I'll go with it. I went to work experience in March to council and that's how I met Vicky through there. I was doing my year 10 work experience so I went three days to the university then I had two days at the county council so it's, it's, it's rather the ability than disability, it's what people don't always understand. Is my abilities are my left arm, I can do a lot with my left arm, I can read, I can write. Yeah. I just can't walk very well. Yeah. Is someone learned this communities may not be able to communicate very well, but they can do they can do their job really, really well. They do it. Yeah. So it's just anything you enjoy doing really. And if they enjoy working football ground like here, yeah. then they'll do it. Right, um how's it gone? How's it gone? Excellent. Better than I could have ever imagined. Um, better than I thought it was gonna go at half past eight this morning. Um, and um, the all the new employees here have, have, have signed up. Um, we actually have over thirty employees signed up on it already. So what we'd like next is 50 and then 100. What wow. I think this has been about uh, uh, showing a real sighting opportunity for young people and getting businesses signed up so that we can release the potential of every single child within our county. And I think what's really exciting is that actually when you hear from people that have actually taken that opportunity and shown what they can achieve, like Scott and like some of the others I've been talking to here, I think that should be a real inspiration to businesses to say, Do you know what, we want to sign up, we want to get involved, we want to give a young personal opportunity because I think we can make a real difference here um, and there's so much potential that we can achieve. My main duties um, is the um, admin side um, for the cross forces and uh, the admin side for the climatic change. Great, so and how is it working there? Absolutely fantastic and I'm getting uh, new friends, I'm gaining uh, new skills so there's a huge swathe of people out there potentially not meeting their full uh, potential uh, within society and for themselves as individuals that we can potentially help uh, going forward. I'm glad to say ever since that Vicky's come on uh, to this project and worked right across the county, we've actually doubled that to 12% now within Gloucestershire, which is a fantastic result, um, but also I think a true reflection of what can be achieved. 
and I think that we can aspire to get to 20% um, in the coming years. And I know, but that all starts with people in this room, because where we need to inspire young people is show them what the opportunity is out there for them. So please go out there and be ambassadors for this program. Please go out there and encourage as many people to sign up. So we're opening our, our first second-hand sports-only charity shop on the Oxbode in Gloucester. Um, we have a shop manager in place and then we uh, intend to uh, employ up to 10 young adults with disadvantages of various forms, learning differences being one of them. The plan after Gloucester is to open 18 shops throughout the South West, with each, each shop providing uh, 10 opportunities. Uh, so 180 opportunities in total over the next five years. Uh, I'll just talk about the coaching model side of things. Mm -hmm. What I've done is I've mentored two lads with learning difficulties, teenagers of so 16, 17, and um, through their level one football qualification. So one of them, Sammy, has started coach. We went when we first qualified, took him down to Abney Rovers under sixes. Uh, Sammy's gone in coaching at GL1 Leisure Centre with a lad called Jim Art doing some futsal coaching, and now me, Nathan, Sam, who's the, Nathan's the other lad, we go down at Mat to Matson on the multi-use games area and um, just rock up with a bag of balls, and we get nine kids every week turn up and just come and play a game of football, no, free of charge, no like conditions. Turn up. Yeah, they can, they can also motivate others within the workforce, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, it's really good. Quite a chicken's based about going to West Central Home to check for the people yeah. that like where they're living, and if they want any changes, we, 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 we can do it in a report. Oh, really good friend, mates, and great people. I like travelling, meeting new people, and getting them to join Gloucester Voices. Great. So, but you're looking for a, uh, another job now? A paid job, yeah. Yeah. Good, so what are you hoping to do? What's the job? Um, receptionist. Great, and so what will you... Answering phones and, and, yeah, that sort of um, Gives me more money, um, I get paid. So, yeah. We need um, youngsters. We've got a whole load of Scots out in Gloucestershire who have got amazing talents, who have had um, real difficulties that they've overcome. But because they've overcome those difficulties, it makes them stronger, it makes them more determined, it gives them great, great skills that they can actually go into a business. Employers are absolutely key to what we do. And what we're looking for is yes, we want jobs, okay? So we want people in employment, but we also want to create opportunities. We want to make um, the energy and the vibrancy in Gloucestershire, um, sort of, we've got great momentum already and we just need to basically carry that on. So if an employer want, um, is watching this, um, I would urge them to um, contact me um, to have a chat um, or to go to their local drop-in or to talk to Gloucestershire Voices or any organisation that has anything to do with a person with a learning disability because everyone will tell you, or even better still, an employer who has had practical experience of employing somebody or giving work experience to somebody with a learning disability. And then basically sign up and say yes to the 30-30 challenge.